So if you're a mom, you know what it's like to not only be pregnant, but to gain that weight with your pregnancy. And after the baby comes, how do you get back to your body before the baby? Well, I'd like to introduce you to my next guest, Michelle Cagle. Michelle, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me, Krista. <laughs> so I, you're pregnant right now. Yes, yes, I'm due in two months. <laughs> now, this is your third pregnancy, and you are actually a bikini fitness model. Yes, I'm a bikini model pro, so okay. I'm a pro, yeah. So how, how did this all come about? I mean, I know that, that models do get pregnant, but were you a model and then you became pregnant, or was it the other way around? Um, no, I was pregnant first, and then I, after my first son, I decided, I looked in the mirror and said, I want to lose that baby weight, and um, it just kind of motivated me to get back in the gym and learn about nutrition and so then after that, I got back to where I had started, and then I decided I wanted to take it to the next level, and that's when I started competing in different fitness physique events. So now, I mean, we've all heard it. I'm a mom. I have three kids. This is your third child. Yes. You know, there's a lot of chatter out there about, you know, you'll never get that body back. You know, your metabolism has changed. Your, your thyroid is off. I mean, is, what role does all of that play in, you know, bouncing back to your, your regular shape or better? Right, all of that definitely plays into it, but um, mainly your diet is your number one thing that you have to focus on, and if you can get into the gym too, that helps it get back together as well as your nutrition and hydration with all of that together. So the more pieces of that that you can fit into it, the, the better the results will be and faster. So let's talk about fitness and being pregnant. Okay, so you're pregnant right now, you're due in about eight weeks or less. Yes. <laughs> so are there things that you do while you're pregnant to make it easier to get fit after the baby comes? Yes, right now like I don't work out as intense because I'm pregnant. Um, it just doesn't feel as good with the extra weight in front with the baby there. So I kind of lower my intensity a little bit, but I do try to keep my workouts in uh, with walking and prenatal yoga. And I take a look at my diet and my mini meals and try to get my protein shakes in and drink my gallon of water a day. So there's definitely things you can still do while you're pregnant that will help prepare you to bounce back. And I don't treat every meal like it's just the last meal on earth to <laughs> well, moderation. You said something that's interesting to me, a gallon of water. Yes. Like how do you drink a gallon of water? Well, I have water with me at all times at my office. I have it with me, you know, in my purse, at home, no matter where I am, even if I'm getting ready to go to bed, I'll have water next to the nightstand with me. I'll have, I like to have two, you know, six ounce bottles before I go to bed. And if I, if I wake up to pee in the middle of the night, I'll drink some more water. So why, did, why is that so important? Well, hydration is one of the most important things because it flushes the fat out of your body. It's the simplest, cheapest, most effective thing you can do to get the weight off and to help keep everything flowing the way it should. You know, I think it's interesting if you think about that, we don't realize that we're dehydrated. And I know that a lot of mothers also choose today to nurse. Yes. And that makes you even more dehydrated. Mm -hmm. So in addition to drinking water, what are some other things that a new mom can do? Right, there's other things you can do with um, just even the mini meals, if you can have just a little meal throughout the day or even if you're just snacking on some almonds or a protein bar or a protein shake. Um, any kind of little mini meals that you can do throughout the day, even if you just throw them in your purse, that helps a lot too. It just kind of keeps your metabolism going so when it does come time for a meal, you're not just gorging on a lot of food and you make more balanced decisions with your portions. So I understand that you have plans to get back to that fitness performance level after your baby. Yes. Are you worried about that? Um, I'm excited about it too. Like I, I'm, I love being pregnant too, but it, it's always good to get out of those maternity clothes <laughs> and get back in those size zeros again. So it, it's big incentive to get back to your full wardrobe. So I'm, I'm excited about it and I, I know that it's going to be tough. It's not easy for anyone. It's not easy for me. And there's those days, just like everyone else, where you don't want to get up and you don't want to go to the gym and you don't want to eat that piece of chicken, 
and you just kind of say, you know, you know the things you have to do to get there. And it's, it's hard for me, it's hard for everyone else, but it's definitely achievable. So I, I'm excited about doing it again. It's definitely that goal, getting back into your wardrobe again. So how are you gonna do this? Are you going to invite people to join you on your journey? Yes, this time around, um, I'm going to do a little video journey of me going from, you know, my post-pregnancy body all the way back to getting back to my cover model shape again. <laughs> yeah, let's take a look at that picture now because you look absolutely gorgeous. So Thank we're going to toss to this. This is you before baby number three. Michelle, <laughs> that cover is absolutely amazing. Now that was only four months after your second child. Thank you. Yes, it, it is four and a half months after little Levi. So there's some people out there who are watching and just saying she probably just has good genetics. You know I mean, and quite honestly, you look like you're 22 years old. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, right now I'm 34 and um, I, I do hear that a lot, but I'm here to show you that it's hard for me too. Um, I gained 40 pounds with Levi and it, you know, I'm right now I'm pregnant again and I'm going to have to lose it again. So it's not something that's easy to do. You'll see a lot of programs out there that have a lot of hype with, oh, you can do this, you can do this with big promises. But I mean, I'm here to say that it's easy to do. It, it takes dedication and you do have to follow the steps, but it is achievable. So you do have good genes because obviously you're, you know, have a great shape and a good figure, but you also gain weight during your pregnancy. It's not like you just I gained 10 pounds. I also gain weight in my pregnancy. It, it's actually healthy to gain a certain amount of weight in your pregnancy to support your baby's life system. So, so you're not dieting while you're pregnant? I, I don't diet, but I make healthy choices and I do have a few more cheat meals than I would when I am training for a cover or a show or a photo shoot, but I, I do have more indulgences when I'm pregnant. Okay, yes. we have to talk about that though. Did you say <laughs> cheat meals? So what is a cheat meal? <laughs> <laughs> yes, a cheat meal is something that I recommend everyone do with my plan because um, it gives you something to look forward to. And sometimes when you're making healthy choices, your body starts to crave certain foods that like really aren't on the plan. But I do advocate doing a cheap meal. If you want to have that little piece of chocolate cake, if you want to have that little plate of pasta, go ahead and do that once a week and plan it out and look forward to it. And just right after the cheat meal, you get right back on the plan. So it gives you something to look forward to and you don't end up sneak eating that cheat meal you want to do anyway. It's not the secret cheat meal then. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a secret. No, it's just a goal to look forward to and keep you on track the rest of the week. So very excited to see your transformation. This is baby number three from Michelle Cagle, fitness model and uh, cover model as well. Thank you for being here. Thanks, Kristen. Glad to be here.